In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an intro video with the logo animation inside Cyberlink Power Director. Now, I'm also going to give you this free template for free. Now, let's take a look at the animation. Very simple and very elegant. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. So, if you already like this video, you can click a like. We really appreciate it on the YouTube channel. And I'm going to give you this free template and you'll be able to download it. The download link is in the description of this video. Let's preview this video just again, just quickly before we start. As you see, we have a lens flare, we have some cool effects and we have a logo. Now I'm going to delete everything and I'm going to pretend that we are starting from scratch. So when you download the free template, you're going to find a couple of folders, a couple of files. And in that, you're going to find a folder called a file called background, logo, and then you're going to find three video files like this. Now, I'm going to just import all of these. And how I import in PowerDirector, I'm just going to drag all of these into the media content holder. Now, I've already added this in previously so all you got to do is first we're going to start with the background and we have this gray background and I'm going to just drag and drop the background to the timeline this is going to be our first layer I'm going to just extend the duration of the timeline of the background layer now the next thing that I want to add is the actual logo so you might have your own logo or if you're just following along you can use this dummy logo that I have added. I'm going to use the BlueFX logo just because it's our company and why not? Why not promote it? <laughs> so I'm going to now scale the logo down. So let's select the logo and scale it down. So it's kind of in the middle and it's not too big, something like this. Now, this is the free version of this package and we ha we have multiple packages that have tens of different logo animations if you're using that the same process applies so all you got to do here is select the video animation that you want now depending on your logo you can use the one that fits i'm going to use the blue one just because our logo has a lot of blue elements in it now i'm going to drag the video file to the next track and oh, you already see that we are we are a little bit cramped so we gotta make some space to to make some space here so we can view everything is is you can do that by going here with your mouse and just slowly dragging this up so you have more more space in your timeline and you can see what's happening and now Let's see. Okay. Now we already have something. So let's preview this. Okay. Good. Now what I want you to do is always position the animation layer at the beginning of the video. Okay. Like this. So we start the video where the animation is already starting now obviously what we want to do is we want to hide the logo while the animation is still just animating in so there's gonna be a point let me show you right here the, at this point when the animation is covering the screen we want to put our logo just beneath beneath that and we want to hide it so that it's going to look like the animation creates the logo. So let's preview this. Have you seen that? And basically now you're ready. So I'm going to show you two versions. This is the ultra simple version. So you already have now your logo animation done. Take a look. Very simple. And very elegant now the next step to make this look even cooler is to add 
a text layer because because you're probably not just showing your logo you might just want to add also a tagline now for that I'm gonna just swoop my animation layer to a layer above to a track I mean a track below here in cyberlink power director this is the way it works so the next part is that I want to add a title so I'm going here to the title room click on it and there you have a lot of things all you got to do is just drag the my title preset right here now please take note the the way we structure this is very important what's on top what's at the bottom is very important so let's take a look okay we have here the my title and first thing let's set up the title because right now the title is white we cannot read it so I'm gonna right click on the title layer and then edit in title designer okay so first step is that I'm gonna just change this color because it's not not suited for our background color okay I'm not gonna use that black I'm just gonna make it a dark gray okay still looking strange so what I'm doing here is I'm selecting here so if you hover your mouse over the edge of the layer the little X is gonna show up a little cross and you can just move it like this at the position that you desire now I'm gonna just change the size of this because I just don't like it it's too big we're gonna go with something like uh, 18 pixels that's gonna be enough okay good and you have this wheel you don't need to use that you do, we don't want to do this okay Control Z to undo <laughs> and now what we want to do is double click inside just make sure that you're double clicking inside and not on the wheel double click here and now you can write in your tagline maybe you want to talk about your website uh, click and select stuff and delete stuff like this okay I'm gonna just put this put this here to the center I'm gonna center this text and let's make it a little bit smaller it's still too big compared to our logo 16 yeah this one looks good great so let's preview this a bit now if you if you listen carefully there's a sound take a listen Ding. there's a bell there's a sound of a bell and we intentionally made that sound effect we intentionally added that sound effect for you so you can add a simple little animation all we want here is that the text the tagline appears when the bell sounds go up go off so I'm gonna just select my text layer and we're not gonna complicate things all we want is a simple fade in animation now for that you can defer what you can do is just first just close this font so you have more space and we're gonna just go down in the object panel we're gonna scroll down scroll down scroll down and we're gonna find something called opacity now let's see again where the sound the bell sound goes off here Ding! something like that okay so at this position I'm gonna just go down and pretty interesting but right now it looks like the cyber in power director is giving me a strange error don't worry about it for now just click OK and let's open this one this back again okay edit title designer okay now it works the position is the same it didn't move now we select opacity scroll down scroll down where is opacity here it is so at the point where you hear the bell 
you make sure that the opacity is at 100% like this and when I push this button you see this little keyframe appears so we have here a keyframe and we're gonna go back just a little bit just a little bit like this and I'm gonna set the opacity to zero so what basically I'm doing is it starts from transparent and I'm gonna push so set the opacity to zero and you see we have another keyframe so let's preview this mm, let's move this a little bit to the right because I want the text to appear exactly when the bell sound comes in perfect okay now you can click OK and let's see what we have here this looks great so at this point of course you can make the logo layer and also the the tagline layer just a little bit longer now we could say we could call the day and we say hey we got a really good logo animation and it looks good and all but let's just add one little one more little cool thing so wouldn't it be nice that the logo itself moves just a tiny bit so let's make the logo move a little bit but just a little bit so I select the logo layer and then what I do is I right click and all I want to do is just click on edit pip designer picture in picture designer now all I want to do at this point is just make the logo grow when it appears so let's say here it's completely covered and for that I'm gonna use the scale parameter so let's see where is the scale here it is and I'm gonna add a keyframe here so I just push this button here and you see the keyframe here at the scale property appeared good so this is gonna be the full scale but I want it to first to be a little bit smaller and then to grow let's see where we should add the scale so I'm gonna move this just a little bit back and it should start growing around here while it's still covered let's see let's make this make sure that maintain aspect ratio is selected so I'm gonna just make it a little smaller just like this and let's see how this looks beginning and let's preview I think this looks good of course you can play around with it and and change stuff but I think we already have something that looks really good yeah that looks good now I still have one more step one more step to make the make make this effect look even more awesome so I'm gonna show you this go to your media room and there you you're gonna find logo 16 lens now, this is a lens effect some of the logo animations that we have some of them have it some of them don't require it but on this particular one we can add this logo animation so I mean this lens effect so you drag this lens effect to a new track and make sure that you position it right at the beginning of the entire animation so the animation effect and the lens effect should be sh should be happening at the same time should start at the same time and let's preview this and as you can see we don't see anything because everything is is uh, covered by this so it looks like we have a black background that, but for this one there's a little bit of an advanced step but I'm gonna show you how to do this so just click just right click here on the logo um, what's it called this uh, this logo lens flare effect just right click on that and then select where is it where is it 
edit video and here you're gonna find something called set blending mode so edit video set blending mode and here you're gonna find multiple blending modes and the one that you need to use is called screen click on that and now you can see the magic happening now we'll see that that nice lens flare effect appears over our animation so let's preview this superb you see all these fine details just add 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 to the animation to, to, to make it more realistic or just to make it more beautiful okay so thank you so much for watching this video if you want to get more templates just like this we have a bunch of them we have oh so many hundreds of templates you're gonna love them all you gotta do is check the link that i've added in the description of this video and you'll be able to um, use also more templates just like this thank you so much for watching and make sure that you check out also our other videos in our youtube channel bye bye